Hello, Twinkies. It's LB Twink, and welcome to my live stream. There's no one in here yet, but here I am, just vibing, waiting for people to come in. I've been ghosted on YouTube for a while, so I don't know how many people exactly we are going to get in here. But we're just gonna live the fantasy, just kind of go live, vibe. Oh, we already have a thumbs up, but it tells me I have zero viewers. Hello, how are we all doing? Let me see, I'm gonna turn the music down, drink some water. Hi guys, oh my god, I've been like so ghost from the internet lately. So, um, here we are, hello, hi, yes. We are doing a little get ready with me, learning to be a baddie. I might be tripping balls. Oh my god, have a beautiful trip. Literally love that. Oh, that makes me happy. I'm like, when people trip to your content, <laughs> How is everyone doing today? I'm back. I literally posted and uploaded yesterday. Literally the dramatics, me titling my video. Hi, I'm back. Um, but yeah, I've been kind of taking a break from social media lately. Are we smoking today? We will not be smoking because I have to film. And when I film, I will be smoking then. But if I film, if I smoke now, I honestly won't get shit done. Okay, taking all my jewelry off. I'm just gonna go ahead and start beating my mug. Feel free while we're on this live, pick my brain, ask me questions. Literally, what the fuck is up? I missed watching your lives. I missed going live. Back in January, February, I was going live so much on my account and then like, I fell off. But that was like me within myself. Just because I've been an anxious king, but here we am. Here we am. That literally is not English, babe. Here I am. What do you eat today? I had beans and rice and chips and then half of a chicken burrito. Chicken guacamole, chicken avocado. Where are you going tonight? Wherever the wind takes me. Nowhere specific. <laughs> hey Thomas, I'm curious how you got into flow arts, how you choose your hoop. I'm interested in starting. Hi Hannah. So pretty much when I started flow arts, it was about three, four, like not four years, about three years ago, basically one of my friends had brought her hula hoop over to my house. And this is when I was, I want to say like still 17. And she pretty much like ended up leaving it at my house, but she was trying to get into it. And she had showed me Instagram clips of like friends that she had who got her into it. And um, she left it at my house and then she told me like, oh, you could go ahead and like use it to practice because I would just mess around with it when she was doing it. And then um, I just ended up like practicing with it. I liked it so much. I got my own and I got it from moodhoops.com. Um, honestly, I really like their hula hoops alongside the spinsters, but there's so many different hula hoop companies and it's definitely good to look into other ones to see what the company's values are and pretty much kind of just like that's how i decided there's like a size chart you pretty much base your hoop based on like your skill level and your size and then honestly i just practice i've learned everything pretty much online or just by like messing around with it myself and then learning new tricks that's kind of more so the past i want to say like a year what I've kind of been more so like on that kind of vibe. Um, it was just like teaching myself tricks, but it's fun. And I definitely want to make a video about it, like hula hooping and everything sometime this month. Also make sure if you guys are in this live consuming my content, go ahead and give this a thumbs up. Let's get this live stream up because the more you guys thumbs up my live streams, the more they get pushed. And honestly, let's support him while he's being a content princessa. But yeah, okay, I'm lagging. But right now I'm just using concealer. I don't really wear too much face makeup outside of concealer. I used to wear a BB cream and a foundation, but not too much anymore. Show us your earrings, King. So pretty much, funny enough, I actually made this earring for one of my very first YouTube videos. I don't know if that video is still up, but um, it was DIYing like my own jewelry and a lot of the earrings I wear are DIY, but then I definitely have other ones. On this side, I have, this used to be my old bridge piercing when I had my bridge here. And then this is also another old bridge piercing, but they were the same gauge as my industrial. And so, yeah. 
Those are my piercings. I used to have my nose pierced, my smiley pierced, my septum pierced. I used to have so many. Okay, this song be getting me in my feelings. It's not the vibe we're on. Oh, oh my God. Um, you should do a sip and paint or sip and design some pieces. Honestly, I've thought of doing like a little like smoke and sew, which is kind of like what the video I want to film today is, but I think sip and sew would be more realistic. I know um, another YouTuber that Francis is friends with by the name of Megan Hughes, she has done like a sip and sew before and honestly like it inspired me to want to do something like that. I'm like LB Twink trying to get into um, fashion content like, um, yeah, feel free to ask me questions and all that. How's your anxiety going? I mean, I'm like getting over it slowly because I'm like so annoying for it. Hey, sweetie, what's next for you? So for the month of April, I want to really get back into posting, hopefully, and like what I'm really going to aim for is about like two to three videos a week alongside sewing with all my designs. This last month and when I've been taking this break from YouTube, I've kind of been focusing more so on what I like to call my craft, aka sewing, and just developing like my own kind of style to it. And I accidentally developed like a whole new style to the way I sew. And so I've just been creating pieces and listing them on Depop all month. And right now actually too, my entire shop is 20% off, even the new items I'm listing. And then after this live, I'll be listing another one going. Um, but for next month, gonna be producing a lot of YouTube content, fashion related content. Um, alongside that, next month is 420. And you best be knowing. 420 pieces will be on the way, but I'm gonna have to start working on those soon and all that jazz. Mm -hmm. You are fashion content, what do you mean? Get into it, King. Ah. What is my next piercing or tattoo? Good question. I definitely, I used to have my nostril pierced on this side. I got it done when I was 15. And then I just like really took it out one day because the jewelry I had in was turning me green. And after that, I went to put it back in and it closed. And I was like, what the actual fuck? Damn, we got 52 people in here. Okay, I have a hundred. Make sure if you guys are just joining in, um, I'm beating my mug. Feel free to pick my brain, ask me questions. Also give this a thumbs up. Let's push him on the algorithm because the more likes and more engagement we get on this live, the more this live gets pushed. And pretty much we need that. <laughs> we need the engagement. Taking a hit for me. Aw, thank you, I appreciate it. Um, but yeah, my next piercing and tattoo, I definitely want to get hoops on both sides of my nostrils, 100%. I've been wanting that for so long, and I just haven't gotten there yet. And then um, for a tattoo, I want to do something over here, but I don't know what. Honestly, I want to give myself another stick and poke. I really thought about it this morning, and I was like, tattooing myself for 30k. Bet. Bet. Um, next I'm going to be moving into blush, and for my blush, I use this Undone blush from Target. It is honestly a cream blush, quite literally my heart and soul, favorite blush I've ever used, and they don't sell it at every Target, but that part. I want to do a stick and poke so bad. Honestly, do it. Like, I'm not going to be, okay, that is very LB Twink on his bad influence. Not even bad. I just say fuck it because like, that's all I've like done so far. Also, this song right here has been like my new anthem. Honestly, I really do just be living in my own world, but not even in a, in a bad way. I feel like I'm more so on the vibe that like, which I'm the main character. I think we're all main characters in our own world. So yeah, literally, when I put my blush on like this, oversaturated, I go in with a beauty blender and I blend it out. And then I haven't set anything yet either. 
Let's see. What's your favorite affordable makeup brand? Honestly, the tea is pretty much all the makeup I use is drugstore makeup. I don't really feel like I have like a specific favorite brand that I use, but I would say the best quality for the price comes from Morphe. What do you miss pre-COVID? I'm like everyone being not so tense, honestly. <laughs> Not like you guys, but just like society as a whole, because I just feel like things just get more and more tense as time goes on. Um, the nose blush is adorable. Honestly, it gives me very like anime -y vibes, and I know I look hella red right now. To burp. That was a weak one. But it's gonna tone down when I use my setting powder. That's what I'm gonna do next. So I use the Makeup Revolution Pure Bake Banana Powder, which I mean, I have like a red undertone and honestly yellow just kind of like evens it out, maybe. Um, first place you wanna go after everything is safe, come to England. Honestly, I would just love to go anywhere at this point. I feel very, in ways bound to my city right now, but I don't think that's forever. Because, as y'all know, we're constantly growing, glowing, fucking thriving. Kind of have to be. But once I hit that point, I would love to, one, go out of the country because I've never been out of the country. I feel like London or Paris is like calling my name, if not somewhere tropical. Also kind of want to have like an off the grid moment. I'm not too sure. 61 people in here, 34 likes. Honestly, let's try and get the views to match the likes because with making my comeback, I need to be put on that damn algorithm. If there was one thing you could tell your teenage self, what would it be? Um, <laughs> literally don't download Grindr Love, but on a whole different note and on a more real note, I feel like I would tell my teenage self to like chill and more so like stop worrying as much. I mean, I would still even tell myself that now, but I just constantly be stressed about something. Yeah. Okay, so how does nobody hit me up before I'm tripping and then when I begin peeking, everyone wanna slide in my DMs. Honestly, that's just on fate. I think off before on my lips. Yes, London is definitely calling your girl. Honestly, London would be so fun. Anything out of the US at this point. I would love to go to like Toronto too, or like a main city in Canada. Or New Zealand, Iceland. I'm like me thinking of anywhere that's gay friendly. <laughs> yeah. Aquaphor be hitting honestly that part though. <laughs> the one dislike. I can't even see dislikes when I'm live. Um, I've watched you grow so proud. Oh, thank you, Erica. Honestly, it's crazy. And in ways like, I just like, I don't, how did we get here? Literally, we've been working at it for years and I want to act all shook when it happens, but like I genuinely am shook because I've just always been like raised, like literally expect the worst. So I do. <laughs> Um, how do you deal with homophobic or hateful comments? Honestly, let's talk about this one because like, I, it's weird. I feel like I don't really deal with them because if it's online, that's easy to ignore because honestly, you could quite literally just like block anyone. And I love that damn block button. But outside of that, when it comes to in real life interactions, usually for the most part, like, it's just non-verbal communication. Whenever it does get verbal, if I'm alone, honestly, like depending on the situation, I don't know, I follow what my gut is telling me. So if my gut is telling me like, this is not a safe situation, I honestly just shut up and sadly, and I hate to say it, I just take it because I'm not a big, I don't think anyone really likes violence, but it's just like, that's not my vibe and yeah. Outside of that, I just 
know that what I'm doing now and like why people are being homophobic to me straight up comes from a place of insecurity within themselves. Honestly, <laughs> literally the people who were homophobic to me in high school are literally in my DMs now. Let that one resonate. And then like people who really project that kind of hate usually have a lot of hate within themselves that they're kind of like pushing out there. At this point, it is what it is. And doing, I guess, what I'm doing now, which is just being myself, literally expressing myself, that's honestly one thing I hold very close to myself. It kind of is setting up, I guess, in ways the future generation to not experience, I guess, like the same kind of things that like, I experience. Which hopefully not. I just want the world to be a less hateful place. Also, next thing I'm gonna do is my faux freckles, which, <laughs> That was so funny. But I use the James Charles palette and I use a mix of these two colors up here, these neutrals. I start with the lightest one, do more of those, and then I add details with the darker ones. Hi, oh my goodness. Do we have more people joining? 67 people in here? How are there at least 67 people here watching me right now? Um, hold your crown high. You're an amazing designer. Moi. Thank you, doll. And I do hold my crown high because, you know, as time goes on, I realized that, like, bitch, we're powerful. And, like, I used to hold that to myself when I was younger. As I got older, I got more insecure. <laughs> I can't watch anymore right now, but just know your videos make me so happy and feel so much better about my own issues. Honestly, I feel like a lot of us can relate to, like, what I be talking about on here, but no worries. I'll catch you next time. Um... I love your videos, don't even know how I stumbled across you, but your good vibes, period. Honestly, literally, I hold on to the good vibes, like, in this channel, because I just have to. Um, hate is horrible, hopefully people realize and grow. And I think right now, given where society is, everyone is holding in so much anger, and why I think things kind of, like, over the past couple months have gotten more hateful is just because, like, People be angry. Always said and stand by this, jealousy is a disease, get well soon. But like not saying that to y'all, but just to anyone. <laughs> Do you think you'd quit smoking sometime in the future? Honestly, yes, fully I do think I would, but I also don't think of smoking as this thing that like I have to have. I smoke recreationally and at this point, it's like also like part of the bronze, so it's part of a job. And I mean, at the end of the day, I really do enjoy smoking. I smoke daily, but I do it for fun and when I'm stressed, just a base, but it's not something I feel like I depend on. Okay. So when I'm doing my freckles, I like to focus them all kind of over here. And I just like go kind of like an hourglass kind of vibe and then just add a whole bunch. And I'm using an angled brush and just like the tip of the angled brush. Um, I hear you listening to Never Met. You already know. My goodness, 72 people here, guys. We're less than 30 away from 100 people on this live. If you guys are just joining, feel free to pick my brain. I'm kind of just doing my makeup, vibing with y'all. Make sure you give it a thumbs up because like, you boy needs it to hit that algorithm. And let's try and get the views. So we got, I mean, over here, it's like for me, 72 people and 47 likes. Let's try to see if we can match that. Do you have a favorite dispensary? I really do. King's Crew in Long Beach, the motherfucking spot, $20 eighths, which like, that might sound like not that crazy, but $20 eighths are valuable here in Southern California, especially in Long Beach. Okay, let me just throw a whole bunch of freckles on. Let's see. Your skin looking great. Thank you. It's because it's covered in concealer right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was watching one of your vids the first time I got high, and now I smoke and watch your videos on the regular. Oh my god, so that's precious. Um talking about Bentley. Do you watch Bentley Blaze? I do. I stand Matthew. Honestly, I would love 
to hang out with him one day because I feel like there's a lot of things we can relate on. I think I'm getting fired today from my dispensary job for being late. What state are you working in? Honestly, like, I want to start my own dispensary strictly for the gays. <laughs> Call it. Oh shit. I oh, fuck that. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, what would I call it? I would call it the rainbow of weed. That was literally so lame. Okay, wait. Let me get through this little patch of freckles because I keep getting distracted. Um, take all the weed and run that part. <laughs> I'm dead. Are you guys also the kind of people who like when people tell you things you like imagine it like literally in your head like you can kind of like picture it because I feel like I have a very picturesque kind of imagination and I just like not that I see see the image but I could like picture the image in my head very clearly. And honestly, people are always like, do your freckles smaller, blah, 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 do this. But the thing is, I'd be doing them this way because no one else is doing them this way. Everything is done with intention, and I stand by that. I love freckles. They make me feel so cute. Also, random thing, I lost, like, my eyebrow brush to, um, carve my brows out with. So... I've been having a really rough time with my eyebrows lately. Okay, so, pretty much that is like the base, I guess, of like the freckles that I do do. Now I'm gonna go in with a darker color, same like the one right next to it, and then make random ones here and there. Um, you want a dispensary and get all the free for life, imagine. Are you watching Drag Race? Who's your fave? Okay, unpopular opinion. I'm not really a fan of RuPaul's Drag Race because I feel like it portrays people in the community. Although honestly, it has been very progressive and honestly, thanks RuPaul for like making drag like kind of mainstream in the media. But I feel like in ways it's just like a play off of a stereotype, which, like, yeah, that's just the entertainment industry for you, and, like, but accurately, it just seems, I don't know, it's just not my fave, but good recommendation, Dragula, literally so much more up my alley, and the looks they serve are, like, so insane, and also, too, in the past, when I had done a show in West Hollywood, I, um, it was a theater show, right? I was dancing in it. And there were, in the cast, drag queens from RuPaul's. And they didn't have many good things to say about it. And RuPaul would be transphobic, honestly. But that's just my opinion on RuPaul's. Okay, so pretty much got my base freckles done. Then I used that same darker color. And I go and accent like my normal freckles I have, or if I have a pimple, I also cover it with a freckle. Not unpopular. <laughs> you should get your bridge done again. You looked rad as fuck with it. You know, I was, I do miss my bridge. I think about this one a lot, but the reason that I don't have it is because I would always knock it when I was hula hooping and honestly it was so infected and I used to just like face tune it. <laughs> So it didn't work infected. <laughs> Honestly, that'd be a mood. Okay. Let's see. We're actually listening right now to my playlist, Bugs to My Life, which I made public on my channel. It used to be unlisted, but um, I forgot to link it, so I had to make it public. Let's see. this song I'm here for. Okay, let's see. Let me go look. Um, I'm like, <laughs> everyone talking about RuPaul. Who ain't high? I ain't high. Hi, I'm high. <laughs> um, 
see. Hi, Obi Twink. We're in Alberta, Canada, which is above Colorado and Montana. Oh my God. Hi from Southern California. <laughs> totally understand, LMAO. Just facetune one on your face instead. See, honestly too, you could always just glue, like use eyelash glue and glue two silver little like whatever's charms and it would look like a bridge piercing because I used to be doing that. Where's the bong honey? He can't be smoking because he's going to be filming later today. And I presume I'll be filming for quite some time. Literally, the video I plan on filming, it's gonna be like how basically I've been learning to like make clothes. I'm making a custom for someone and it's my first custom skirt that I'm making for someone, so I'm excited. Okay. And then too, I also just like, like to add random freckles where I feel like they would be cute. Mm. Over here. Even though they get fucked up when I wear a mask. But that's how I do my faux freckles. And then next part of the routine, I'm going to go in. Do you actually read comments? I do a lot, but also like it's hard to keep up with them because there'd be a lot. <laughs> um, not saying you guys shouldn't comment. I try to comment as much back as I can, especially on my YouTube channel. I feel like over anything. And then I try to, to reply to a lot of Instagram DMs as much as I can, but it gets very overwhelming. Um, 72 people in here. Oh my God, hello. Next time your piercing does that, use tea tree oil and vitamin E drops mixed twice a day and it will go away. I fully did try that. Hi. Hi. With lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> when the room gets home, you respond a lot. I'm very impressed. Thank you. You know, there's certain people too who I feel like just started out as like people swiping up on my stories. And the thing is too, if I see someone doing it enough and it's not weird because like, let me tell you people, do be weird sometimes. Um, I definitely try and respond as much as I can. And like, I love talking to you guys too because you guys are quite literally what inspires me to do all that I really do. Oh yeah, going in with butter bronzer from Physician's Formula and I just use it as eyeshadow. So I kind of just do pack it in and then wing it out. And still have not touched the brows, but. Um, oh my god, hi Jazz, we got a moderator in here. Period. Um, when he's popular, <laughs> I'm screaming. Aw, so Jamma said Thomas is a doll. Thank you, you are too. Where's the boyfriend? Boy, I'm so single. Or hitting a cart and watching you get ready. Aw, I love that. I, honestly, that's so precious. I literally imagine like being in a couple, not watching me, but just like smoking, literally watching it get ready with me on YouTube. That's only me when I have a boyfriend. Or me will listen to like scary animated stories. <laughs> Any advice for staying single in the gay dating scene? Take it from me. When I was 18 and Further on, I feel like in ways I have serially dated. This is really opening up right here. Um, I've like serially dated, especially given the position I'm in, but I think it was coming from the wrong place within myself in the sense of like, I was dating because I didn't want to be alone, but what I really never did within that time frame was work on myself. And as time has gone on, and things don't work out, I'm put in a position where I'm questioning, is it me? And then I really like thought of that. And then I was like, yeah, that is me. <laughs> so I just more so, especially now more than ever, want to be focusing on my craft and just letting whatever happens like kind of happens. I just try to not fixate on it. And I'm learning to also try and enjoy my alone time. So going out and doing things alone more. Are you heading out again? Yeah, I'm out. All right, have a good day at work. Ooh, fun. All right, I'll see you. All right, bye. Bye. 
self care and hydration. Oh, hi, Kimmy. I agree. We get along really well. <laughs> How are you doing today, Miss Kimberly Ton? Literally, while you guys are in here, since it's right in front of me, look what I have. Kimmy, are these out yet? Do we drop them? Is this, this the preview? Le okay, hemp infused lipstick. We love to see that. <laughs> miss, miss, oh, there's your shout out, period. <laughs> shop Kimmy Cosmetics for clear skin and a fat ass. And shop Twinkie Kokoto for clear skin and a fat ass. <laughs> Um, I'd be tripping and hitting the car. I'm screaming. Um, are all parts Samoans all fine like you? Who knows? I honestly have never met someone else who has also been like the same amount of like mix that I have of Samoan in me, which is actually more than I thought I originally had. Wait, I'm gonna go do something. Kimmy Cosmetics Twinkie Coater Collab. That's tea. <laughs> Honestly. 420? 420 vibes? Is that what I hear? Oh my god, Crystal, you're in here. Hi, yes, hello. Oh, Kimberly Jones. Thank you for the donation and the little hearts. They're so cute. Literally. I'm like me making anyone a moderator who <laughs> be donating. <laughs> Thomas has been giving me anime vibes. We love to see it. Aww. I love the longer hair. How do we feel? Wait, let me put my hair down now since I got most of what I need to get done done for my makeup look. Literally, I feel like, I don't even know. I really botched my haircut <laughs> months ago at this point. And when I did do that, let me tell y'all, it literally, like, one side of my hair was uneven, ended up having a friend fix it, but this is where it's at now. I hate going places to get my hair cut. Um, barbershops don't feel fun, but, ooh. Um, Yes, you're doing a makeup look. I'm doing my everyday makeup, been kind of doing a little tutorial, but I'd be getting sidetracked. Mm. What are your thoughts and experiences with plastic surgery, especially at a young age? Well, the only plastic surgery I really have, which I don't really consider it plastic surgery because I didn't like get anything cut open. I got wrestling in my lips, so lip filler. And honestly, that shit migrated just a little bit, but I'm happy where it's at now. And like, so lip filler, when you get it, the initial thing you get like a lot of swelling and stuff like that and then it goes down and then after the swelling you're left with like really nice lips for a couple months but then those go down for a bit but then what you're left with is this i already feel like i had decently sized lips too so when i got it it was more so just to accent those on my face and like <laughs> i'd be laughing at this so hard so looking at the side especially right here like i don't know is that normal does everyone's lip do that or only the bitches with filler Um, my, <laughs> I'm like just migrated lip filler tings. I ain't even mad about it though because like my lips are still bomb. The song just gives me the energy of Twinkie Kota. I want to film a lookbook soon. I feel like I have enough pieces for a lookbook now. I'm like March collection. Oh, Kimmy, I... It has shown me the before pics and all. I'm precious. Kimmy, literally, I saw before I went live that you posted you got your nips pierced. Oh my goodness. You're literally so random for that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Have you ever thought about growing it out? Are we talking about my hair? Like, I mean, how long? You know, years and years ago, I saw this guy on Instagram or TikTok or something, or no, not TikTok, 
on Twitter. That was it. And he looked a lot like me, but he had his hair grown out like hella hella long. And then I started growing my hair out hella hella long. The longest I've had it is like mid back. IGTG, but I'll call you later. Bye, Kimmy. Have a beautiful day. Be productive. Am I going to do a 420 collection? Probably not a collection, but I will have pieces dropping for 420 unless I am able to execute without the right word. Sounds problematic. An entire collection in two and a half weeks, but I think I should give myself more time and it's nearing Pride Month, which 100% I wanted to do a Pride collection, but just haven't gotten to that point yet. Okay, I need to continue on with my makeup. So, at this point, I used that same brush that I was doing the faux freckles with. Literally, don't even change, like, I don't dip in again. And I go in from under, and I do a small little wing. Just kind of like that, and like, even if it isn't like, perf. Just kind of do that, then start from the middle under of my eye, literally. Smack that bitch on there. Try and make it even on the other side. Never really works, but it doesn't matter because we're gonna blend it out in a moment. Okay, wait, hold up. Okay. So pretty much, we just try and even that out on both sides. We're getting close to 100 people in here. That would be hot. I can envision one of your bandana tops with weed leaves on each boob. Well, maybe you just predicted a design. I don't know how I feel about making iconic tops anymore. Okay, honestly, the tea is I have not sold that many pieces this month. So, if you're thinking about getting a piece for me, now is the time because rent is due soon. And also, my whole entire shop is 20% off right now which I believe today is the last full day for that, or tomorrow is the last full day. Honestly, I got so much on my plate. So even though it looks kind of like messy right now, I'm gonna show you guys like an up, oh, what did I do? There we go. I'll show you guys an up close. So it's all like smudged, blotchy, but I'm gonna then go, oh guys, seven more likes and we'll get the views to match the likes on this live which is honestly fucking iconic. We'd love to see that. I'm going in with the M321 by Morphe. Call me a sister. <laughs> I'm annoying. And I kind of just like blend it out and kind of do like a little bit of a smoky wing. And I like to extend the wing because how I draw on my eyebrows, it's gonna be, they're gonna be angled up, but I literally just like smudge it around, smudge it up, smudge it under. It's really, I'll usually just go back and forth between each of the eyes and like do this. I used to only ever do colorful makeup when I started. And over the past year, I feel like I've really, really gotten into doing more just basic -y glam looks. Shoot, I blended it way too low on that eye. I also have two different eyelid shapes. So there's that, and that's kind of fugly. But this is what we're getting at right now. Have you tried the flicky brush trick for freckles? I let me tell you, I've tried so many tricks for freckles, and I've only ever really found like one method that has like solely stayed working for me and it's the one I'm doing. Although you could see like sometimes my freckles be smudging. Um, that's okay because when we set it, they won't do that as much. And honestly, it adds character to the messy but cute look. I keep having to burp. I make that same face when I put my makeup on my eyes. <laughs> what face am I making? I'm serving, serving face. 
here's a reminder. Literally go and drink water. Cause I'm sure we all need it at this point. Oh my God, wait, not the likes overpassing the view count. Okay, that's hot. Literally, when did that happen? <laughs> I have the same look on right now, Ellie. Great minds think alike. Um, dedicated fans had to pop in before work, period. We're gonna save this live after too, so. Yo, oh, someone told me this at four. Oh my God, it's almost 420. Someone tell me when it gets close to the 420 mark if I'm still on here doing my makeup because I literally will take a hit for that, just for that. Fuck the monetization on this. <laughs> I promise the killer makeup look will be coming your way very soon with my custom top. Just getting back on my, my mental health back on track. Crystal, girl, feel free to reach out to me anytime. Literally, Twinkie Coats are brand ambassador. I feel it. No need to rush because your content is literally artwork. And it's it'll be worth the wait. There's no obligation to even make content for it. But, Crystal, if you guys... Do not know yet yeah, if you have, if you don't follow Twinkie Coater, if you follow Twinkie Coater, I feel like you know who Crystal is. She'd be making me the most bomb makeup transition TikTok videos in my pieces. And honestly, I ride for them. It literally seeing people make content in the pieces I make them, literally like my heart and soul, it belongs to them. So now I kind of just make sure these wings are like blended evenly per se, or just like they look the same. Look in the mirror straight on. They look the same enough. Now we go in back in with our Butter Bronzer by Physicians formula and I'm just gonna add even more of like what I was doing before. So you ever dealt with weak trauma? Yeah. Like, <laughs> I don't even know, like in my heart I'm a stoner, but it'd be making me anxious now, what do I do? So this is something I actually go through a lot. Sometimes when I smoke, I get really bad anxiety. Sometimes when I smoke, I don't get really bad anxiety. If you, there's something in your life that is making you anxious, and if something is not right, when you add that into the mix, I feel like that kind of pops out in the way of anxiety. For me personally, like, if I smoke weed and I get anxious, there's usually something going on in life that has me already anxious, and weed kind of, like, brings that out. I wouldn't necessarily feel like, like, I don't know, it goes through phases. I can never really tell. But as of lately, I haven't been getting that, which is crazy. Um, just take care of yourself. And But I have definitely been traumatized by LSD before. 100%. I got stuck in downtown LA in the middle of the night on LSD. It's that for me. Okay. Let's see. You stay hyping me up, Thomas. I can't even tell you how much I appreciate it and you. Literally, Crystal, your content is worth the hype. Literally, your art. And, like, I don't... I feel like I don't just be hyping up people's content who, like, I really don't feel like has so much potential, but it reminds me a lot of, like, me and, like, what I used to do, too. What animal do you most connect with? Like, in real life? Like, that could possibly be around me? I would say I definitely connect with, like dogs really well um i'm getting better with cats but we're talking like spirit animal i feel like i really resonate with like a leopard or like a panther <laughs> i'm always pampered on lsd literally the alizé lsd story no literally that one we're so funny um who are you listening to? This is Willow Smith. Wait a minute, slowed and reverb. But this song just makes me so happy. This one. And honestly, I'm about to do my brows. I really wish I knew where my eyebrow brush was. <laughs> Manifesting this brush right now. Honestly, life is a vibe, life is a party. I don't have an eyebrow thing. Literally, where did that bitch go? I don't even know. 
I just listened to this. I added your playlist. It's bomb as hell. Thank you. For the first time in my life, I've really been able to get into music a lot more than I ever have before in life. And it's been very, especially while I create Vibes to My Life, which is my personal playlist, I made, well, or I started when producing my first collection. Whenever I'm creating and sewing, I always add to it. I found my eyebrow thing. Oh, bitch, we're on. Literally manifested that. Y'all saw that? It's a way I could not find it yesterday either. Actually, before I go in with... To do my brows, I want an inner corner highlight. And I think today I'm going to use... Why don't I know where any of my makeup I actually need is? Okay, I guess I'm gonna use this highlighter today. This is Cloud Wrap by The Freaky Shop, who I'm also gonna be using another one of their products in a moment too. But it's like a silvery one. I'm just gonna take it on a brush, tap it and add it in my inner corners. Like that. Oh my god, that made me tear up. Period, and then now we're gonna move on to eyebrows. Oh my god, guys, six more likes away from 100 likes on this live stream. We're hitting the four to five minute mark. My eye be twitching sometimes. That's why I'm having underlying anxiety. Okay, so for my brows, I use a pomade and I'll show you guys kind of what I've been doing. Eyebrows have always been something that are not my strong point when doing my makeup and I'm still learning. So if you guys have eyebrow tips, then let me know. But I am using Maybelline's Tattoo Studio Pomade even though it'd be smearing off half the day, but I keep brush. I like to start from the middle because I've shaved the end of my eyebrows and honestly, I've continually shaved them. Oh shoot, that was thick. But I kind of do like a little from the middle, like I'm doing winged liner. And then I'll go on the top, kind of draw it in. And I feel like since I do have thick eyebrows as it is, that's why I botch it so much. Because it just goes really dark. But I try to do that whole do hair like strokes. Mm -mm. It doesn't work for me. And then starting from there. Up. I'm using as light of a hand as I can. I'm really not though. And two, if it really gets that bad, I usually will end up going and concealing after. But I literally, like, eyebrows are not my favorite thing to do. But then, kind of look at it from afar. Looks like it needs a bit more on the top right here, a bit more on bottom. Oh my god, we have 100 likes, period. 80 people, we love to fucking see it. Thank you guys for that. I'm not saying it's no way. What's going on? What do you use for freckles? I use eyeshadow from the Morphe and James Charles palette. My dog needs encouragement. Y'all, she's so tall, she can get on the bed. I'm not. Um, why do I feel like I love you? I love you. I don't even know you. I'm like, also me? Oh, thank you. I always end up with half my eyebrows off at the end of the day. Thank you. Honestly, just me too, sis. <laughs> Oof. We are nearing 100 people on this live. When I tell you guys I'm making my comeback to YouTube, I'm not here to play. I'm here to be a baddie. Live the fucking fantasy. Life is a movie if you make it one. And honestly, at this point, I really do be feeling like a damn movie. Aww. 
inspiring. You're truly a gem to this world. Keep your head up and love you again. Trapped in the abyss, thank you so much. I can't see your entire name, and I wish I could call you by name, but I feel like I've seen you in not my just my comment section, but on my live streams before, and honestly, I really do appreciate your donation, and that really just... Thank you for supporting me and letting me be able to do, honestly, all that I do. It honestly makes my heart and soul. You guys are seriously, when I say my, one of my biggest support systems in my life, and like one of the only ones around, like I'm serious about that. Like I really do all that I do and I'm able to do that because of you guys. And it just makes me happy. Okay, now we gotta match the eyebrow, or at least attempt. Y'all better not make me cry and glam today. <laughs> I'll be doing that anyways. Oh shoot. <laughs> Aww. The day the YouTube algorithm randomly brought me to you was a blessing. That literally, it's a blessing for me too. Aww. One of my ex begs to trip with me, so I trip two times as hard without him. <laughs> Y'all out of pocket sometimes. I have a beautiful trip though, if you're tripping right now. Honestly, the out of pocket behavior, that's what this channel, honestly, we accept it here. We're all a bit out of pocket. No, uh -uh, I definitely am. <laughs> this song, why is this on my playlist? Got Miss Doja. You guys are literally so precious. Like, th this comment section right now. Washing before I go on a trail and get lit. Aw, enjoy your hike, Earth to Brittany, Miss Grounded Queen. You give me inspiration for my own life. Alexandria Blackman. Honestly, inspiration comes in many different forms, and if I'm able to inspire you in any way, shape, or form, I really hold that to my platforms because how I like to see it. If I can do it, we all can fucking do it. Literally, I don't want to sound like up my ass with this, but I feel like nothing is up unobtainable in the sense that like whatever I really want and set my mind to, I get. Whether it's hard work, luck, but it's not just hard work and luck. It's mostly hard work. Literally, you work for something, it comes to you. Doing stuff on this side of my face is always hard, and I just do not know why. Occur manifestation, that part. <laughs> Any advice on connecting with people? I want to be seen as someone who is always positive and encouraging, but it doesn't seem to come naturally for me. So the thing is, when it comes to connecting with people, and I've learned this, I feel like, more so the hard way, it's just hard to like, trust anyone. And... I feel like the people who you connect with come naturally and are put in your life. Honestly, all throughout your life, how I see it, friends will come and go, and the people who are meant to stay there and be connected to your life will be there and be there in the long run. And as long as you aren't doing anything shady, I feel like that is something that is fairly easy to hold on to. And just have good intentions towards others, you know? For 20 and five minutes, let me know when we're two minutes away and I'll run and pack a bowl. <laughs> and then we could all take a hit together at 420. So pretty much though, that's kind of how I do my brows. Why'd I say it like that? <laughs> so yeah, they're, they're hella like dark because like I already got strong brows and I got a big face so we gotta fill it out somehow. Oh shoot. Whatever, this will be good enough. Then I just like brush through the front with the tip of the spoolie. Just want to say I literally love your videos so much. I explode. Thank you, Nadia. 
You have gone through so much in life, but learned so much also. And you are an inspiration to others for sure. The world needs more pe of people like you. Honestly, I feel like I really have gone through a lot in, in ways. Childhood trauma literally shapes you as a person and what you go through when you're younger. The thing is, it's how you deal with that information and kind of how you decide to go about it. In ways, and I didn't really choose this, it's kind of just what happened, My, I ended up teaching others. And that's something that I very much so hold on to now because it feels like it has brought me in ways everything I've had being open and honest online. And as weird as that can kind of be, it's honestly brought a lot of people at peace with what they've kind of also gone through in life. And, you know, it's what you make of it. And that's how I like to see it. I'm using the Milani Make It Last setting spray, which I am almost out of. And I'm throwing that on. It is currently 417, almost there. I do a lot. Okay, literally, I'm just thinking bittersweet collection. <laughs> okay, let's go pack a bowl. I'm gonna take y'all to my room, and then we'll come back and finish up the makeup, because I'm like just about done with my makeup. Do you think I'm still in swag? Bitch, come and sue me. They watch me like I'm a new movie. Okay, so now we're in my room, which is a mess. But vibes on, lights green for weed. <laughs> Camera clean. Okay, I'm gonna set y'all right here. Is it 420 yet? Where's my bong? There's my bong. No wait. Literally, I need a better angle. That's cute. But no, that's better. Hold up. We deserve good lighting. That's better. Um, put your lighters up, queens. Literally, why do I feel like... Okay, that's a lighter right here. Literally, this is actually one of my last bowls. Which I thought was when I was filming, but I ended up finding more weed that day. Um, is it 420 yet? Let me know when I should take my hit. Cheers. Okay, 419. I could actually see the timestamps. Um, put your lighters up, queen. Cheers, loves. What I always love to say. To prosperity, to looking pretty, to abundance, to good fucking vibes, to the Twinkies. Literally all y'all here. How many of y'all are like about to take this hit with me? Because I feel like it's probably most of y'all. Yay, this is fun. I know, huh? Best eatings <laughs> to abundance, that part. Aww. I'm like me just watching the timestamps all say, oh, 420, I see it now. Cheers, Twinkies, loves, this hit is for y'all. Y'all are, y'all got me to do this. My bong is by Honey Glazed Glass, I'm sure y'all all knew. She's dirty, so don't pay attention. Literally on brown though, so I'll be twink. <coughs> Your eyes dilated so hoppy, are they? I don't even know, it's probably cause my room be dark. Honestly y'all, I have been so, so anxious for the past couple weeks, but I'm over it. And I'm not gonna let my anxiety run me anymore. I'm like me got anxious. <laughs> Why am I winded from taking a bong tote? Little bit of Keith in that one, huh? I'm like, this stain will not come out and I always wear this shirt literally with the stain. I should revamp it. Maybe I'll do that today. 
Me just gotta look at how pretty I look. Um, what are we looking at? What's your mom's moon and rising sign? Fun fact, my mom and I were actually born on the same day. So, I don't know what time she was born at, but my moon is Taurus rising as Sagittarius. Does honey glazed glass only have Insta? Oh my God, sorry, I saw y'all like say something about it, but I didn't see, know it was about honey glazed glass. Um, she does only have Instagram. I was talking to her actually two nights ago and I was like, sis, you should start a YouTube. I was telling her how honey glazed glass is like her own whole ass brand. And she literally, she deserves it. She's such a good friend of mine and she's so supportive of all that I do. Honey glazed glass for clear skin and a fat ass too. So next, I got setting spray on. So now, I've been doing this as of more recently. With my eyebrows being so bold and so dark, I usually like to go in with mascara as my brow gel. This is, by essence, it's the You Better Work. <laughs> One of my friends left this at my house and honestly I started using it and then they said I could have it. And I kind of ride for this, but I just do it and like to do the hairs up and I do that all through my brow. I've always put on like my brow gel like this because I feel like it just adds to like the effect, but I do that on both sides. And if I just had like normal brow gel, I would probably still opt to use this because the hair is thick. This controls it a lot better. King got high and suddenly turned into a beauty guru. We stand by that. Actually, so I have brow gel on. Before, I'm gonna add just something cute because I wanna show you guys how I've been using these things lately because I've been getting questions. So the same people who make my highlighter, the Freaky Shop, they also make these like stencils. And so I have their Rave Love stencil, which is heart shaped. And then I also have it's like stuck in there. The candy stars, which are stars. Um, I think I'm gonna opt to use the stars today. But pretty much they're just like little stencils. You can either punch them out of this piece of paper it's on to fill it in that way, or how I've kind of been doing it. So I'll peel one of the stencils. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I miss my nails. This would probably be a lot harder with nails. She should do cinnamon roll, it would sell. Cinnamon roll bong. Does she ship to Texas? Yes, she does. I believe she ships world internationally. I'm like, honestly, honey glazed glass, give me a coat. <laughs> so the Twinkies could get a discount off. So I have this little star sticker. There you go, you guys can see it a lot better. I like to opt to put it up on my high left cheekbone. So I'll just throw it on there. And then what color should I do? Should I do green today? My hair is overwhelmingly thick and I think it's humidity. You're telling me, look at this. Just like, I have such thick hair. But that's from my mom's side of the family. Okay, so for this, let's see, I'm gonna grab eyeshadow yet again. You know, honestly, I think, cause I haven't done this before, I'm gonna make it around the same color as like everything else on my face right now. So I'm gonna do a neutral toned. Pretty much I get, this is what I used last time, just a brush. This is nothing specific. Looks like it's gonna fall apart. I'll go for, a mix of colors actually from the James Charles palette. And then I'm just gonna pack it kind of like around. So I'll show you guys. And then it does look like some paint got in there. So there's that. So 
So once I have it packed on and make sure I've gone all over all the sides, I like to uh, take a blending brush. And since this one is near the tones we're using on our face, I'm just gonna use the one that I was using on my eyes earlier. And I like to blend around the edges and out all directions, just so it's gradiented. I'm too high to have a slow song on. Now this song is the anthem. Shout out from VA. I don't want to get that wrong because I want to say Virginia. Vermont? The shout out back. Green. Oh shoot, I'm late. <laughs> Literally me seeing all the color recommendations like, oop. I'm tripping and baked right now. Wait, I am what? <laughs> I'm so high right now. Those two, that was the first time I smoked today. And honestly, y'all know me. Those have to be snatching my soul at any given moment. Okay, actually, can I cue? Should I blend it more? Leave it like, no, that should definitely be blended a bit more. Me just high doing art now. Y'all really did this to me. I feel like you could see it in my eyes a bit. It's the way I really be on my bullshit because I'm a film tonight. You're so soul snatched like my hair on a good Saturday night, period. Manifesting for New York Fashion Week, Twinkie Coats her. That part. I want to have a fashion show so bad. It just sounds so fun. And like casting everyone for it. I feel like I already know who I would cast in it. Not really, but it would be all like my friends. <laughs> this song literally changed my outlook on confidence in the Twinkie 2.0 lookbook. But are you guys ready for the reveal? Now we just have a little start imprinted, and then I'll go in with the Q-tip, clean it up, usually, but I'm not going to do that. To me, it looks like kind of blue. Random. <laughs> me just sticking it anywhere. Okay, curling my lashes, adding mascara, and then pretty much that will complete our makeup look today. So I guess wrapping this up. What announcements does Hi Thomas have for everyone? Um, live every day like it's a fantasy. Be the baddest bitch you can be. Shop Twinkie Couture for clear skin and a fat ass because everything is 20% off. Subscribe to my channel. Give this a thumbs up if you haven't already. What else am I forgetting? Follow my TikTok. Literally, actually, my TikTok is like dead. Why have I wanted to just like delete the account? I wouldn't do that. Honestly, putting mascara on is always so messy for me. What's your moon and rising? I'm already knowing you're a Leo song, babe. My moon is in Taurus and my rising is in Sagittarius. So I got that devil fire sign in me. Honestly, stay in mascara. It really does make the biggest difference. If I was had liner on, I would definitely be using a fake lash right now. Oh my god, I just smacked myself in the face. Or my waterline, I guess. Also, to shout out to the people who donated in this live, if you're still in here, I really appreciate that. Literally, it helps me out so much, especially right now. These bills, there's so many. It's just... Yeah. <laughs> Bitch, I am so high. It was spaz. But guys, this is pretty much, I just stabbed that in my inner corner. 
So there's that, but I'm gonna leave it there. What song is this? The one before the, this one right now. Cause this is Prima Donna by Marina and the Diamonds. But that is our everyday little makeup look that we go. So I'm gonna leave this on my channel too. So if you wanna come back, do my makeup look. If you do, tag me in it because I wanna see that. And I really appreciate everyone who came in and joined this live today. And make sure you follow me on Instagram at LB Twink. The spam is Tequila Thomas. Tequila is spelled wrong, but I think you can find it through my other account. Also follow Twinkie Coats her on Instagram and Depop. Those will be linked in the description, which I will go and fix right after this. I know I say that every time, but I'm actually gonna do it this time. I really appreciate you guys who have all been in here and who have chatted with me. Thanks for making my days better and literally letting me do all that I do. Appreciate it so much. And I'll see you guys soon. I'm about to film tonight, so on my content shit, XOXO, LB Twink.